Welcome back to a new machine learning tutorial. In this video, we are going to talk about linear regression. We are going to talk about the theory behind it, and then we are going to code it using Python. Let's start coding. I'm in VS Code right now. It's going to be the code editor that I will be using in this tutorial, but you can use any code editor that you want. I'm going to close this welcome page and I'm going to create Jupyter Notebook like linear regression dot IPMB. And I'm going to select my kernel. Then I'm going to say linear regression and let's talk about it linear regression is a fundamental machine learning algorithm used for predicting a continuous dependent variable so we can say let's write the keywords important ones predicting a continuous dependent variable which is a target based on one or more independent variables so independent variable is going to be the x which means the input that we are going to give to our model. The goal in the linear regression is to find the best fitting straight line or hyperplane that minimizes the difference between the predicted and actual values. And let's talk about the mathematics behind that. So, why prediction is going to be equal to the beta 0 plus beta 1 multiplied by x1 plus error term. So, Let's go on them one by one. So Y prediction is going to be the predicted value from the model. Beta zero is going to be the intercept. Beta one is going to be the coefficient of the X one. So let's write it. Beta one explains how X one affects the Y prediction. So if this beta one is positive, which means X one affects the Y prediction positively if it's negative then it affects the y prediction negatively and the x1 in here is going to be the input that we are going to give for example let's say that you have a data like let's say you have salary and education years and you have values like 10,000, 1, 20,000, 2 and 30,000 let's say 3 so you don't have the value of the education year 4, but from expecting this data, you expect it to be 14. So, x1, if in this case, x1 is going to be the input data we give, education year, and beta1 is going to be, I'm simplifying it and not thinking on the intercept, then beta1 is going to be 10,000, because if we input 2, then we are going to get 20,000. So, our coefficient is going to be 10,000. So, we can also write this like, how much? y chains for a unit change in x so x is our independent variable and e in here is our error term and this is simple linear regression in multiple linear regression we are going to say let's write it in here we are going to have more than one features like we are going to have multiple x's i will say y prediction we are going to have beta 0 intercept beta 1 multiplied by x1 beta 2 multiplied by x2 and beta 3 multiplied by x3 and we are going to have values like in the same amount with our x features so at the end we are going to have beta n multiplied by xn plus error term and in here we have other features like in this case in a simple linear regression we only have education years for predicting salary and now let's think like geography like location we can have location like city or we can say number of publications if it's an academic row and stuff like that so these are all going to be our x's and these betas are going to be coefficients for them so the goal in here is minimizing the cost function with finding the optimal values of coefficients so we can explain how we can predict y using this x values and for the cost function, we generally use stuff like mean squared error. I'm not going to talk about it so detailedly. So if you want to learn about the regression model matrix, you can just check my machine learning tutorials playlist where I explain regression model matrix like R squared, mean squared error, root mean squared error, and stuff like that. So for a quick recap, it's the formula of the one divided by N. We can just add an EQ sign in here and we need to add some sign and we will say y true values the actual y values minus y predicted values 
and we are going to take the second degree. So this is going to be our formula and I'm just going to be talking about this side. We are going to be subtracting the y predictions from the y true values. So we measure the distance between the predicted values by model and the actual values. And our goal is minimizing this value because the minimal this value, the better model we have. So let's code linear regression. I will say from scikit-learn datasets import make regression at the first place. Then I'm going to say from scikit-learn model selection import train test split from scikit-learn linear model import linear regression, which is the topic of this video from scikit-learn matrix import mean squared error and r squared score next up i will say import matplotlib.pyplot as plt so these are going to be our imports and make regression is going to be used for data creation train test split for splitting our data into training set and testing set linear regression which is the topic of this video mean squared error and r squared score is going to be for the evaluation of the model and matplotlib.pyplot is going to be for the visualization of the fitted line which we can also cast it as the model we create so let's create our data x y make regression number of samples let's say 100 number of features i'm going to say one and i will say noise is going to be 10. so i'm going to show you the x and y vectors right now we have arrays like this so and the x side we have this at the y side we have this and we are going to be trying to predict the y using x let's do that so what i'm going to do is firstly i'm going to split my data into training and testing sets so x train x test y train y test train test split x y and test size of 0.2 so i'm going to explain this concept real quickly but you can take a look at my machine learning tutorials playlist for learning it better so x train in here and y train in here are going to be our training sets which we are going to train our model and x test and y test is going to be our testing set and we are going to test our model with them so what we do is we are going to be training our model with x train and y train then we are going to use our model and we will give x test as input and we make we get some predictions from our model then at the last place we are going to compare these predictions with the true y values y test in here so in the formula we are going to have y prediction and y true in this way y true is the y test and y prediction is going to be the output that we are going to get from the model using x test next up we are going to initialize the linear regression model like this and we are going to train our linear regression model using fit method then we can make predictions with it using predict method like this so i'm going to give x test and we are going to get some predicted y values so i'm going to store them in something like y predicted and model .predict x test so when i call the y prediction we are going to get that array now it's time for evaluating our model mean squared error y test and y prediction and also i will say r squared score is going to be y test y prediction and here is our r squared score so i'm going to talk them about a little bit but it's not the topic of this video so i'm not going to talk them about a lot you can find that tutorial from a playlist i mentioned earlier so we want this value mean squared error to be lower and this value to be higher and r squared can take values between 0 and 1 it explains variability and you can simply think like value closer to the one is means better model we can think it like this so also let's plot the line that we just created so i will say plt the scatter x test y test let's set the color as blue and let's set a label like not like this label like actual and firstly let's plot this now we are going to plot our line in here so i will say plt.plot x test 
with white predictions right now. Then I will set the color as red. And I'm going to say line width is going to be equal to two. I think I made a typo, no I didn't, okay. So I'm going to give a label like predicted. And next up, I'm going to say, let's add a title like actual versus predicted. And I'm going to add an X label like feature, not like this, like this. And I'm going to add a Y label like target. And I'm going to add a legend in here and I will use plt.show. So we are going to have our linear regression visualized really well. So our intercept is going to be in somewhere in minus 30 and you can see our line, it's a straight line. And you can see the blue dots which are our actual values in the Y. Actually in the Y test, in that version it's going to be better and more true. So Y test values are the blue ones and Y predicted values creates our line. Great. Okay, let's summarize what we did in this video and then we can finish the tutorial. So we started by talking about the linear regression and we talked about the formula of it, the simple linear regression. It's the Y prediction value we have from the model. Beta zero is the intercept. Beta one multiplied by X one is, beta one here is the coefficient of X one, which is how much Y changes for a unit change in X. And X one is our input feature and we got the error term in here. Then I gave you an example like these two salary and education years. Then we talked about multiple linear regression and we talked about the cost function, but didn't talk about it a lot, but it measures the Y true minus Y prediction distance. And we make our imports in here, make regression for data creation, train test split for model evaluation like data splitting, then linear regression, which is the topic of this video, mean squared error with R squared score, which for evaluating the model and matplotlib for data visualization, we create our data, we did train test split, we split our data, and I talked about the logic behind that. We initialized the model, we fitted it, which means training. I showed you how we can get predictions with the model, and you can get predictions by passing a two-dimensional array to the model, like let's say you want to pass 100. So for the x value of 100, the prediction of the y value is going to be 3300. And for the x value of one, your prediction is going to be 34. You can get predictions for any value in this format. So then we store the x test used predictions in y predictions, and we get the mean squared error and r squared, I talked about R squared a little bit in here, but we want this value to be lower and this one to be higher. Then we plotted our linear regression line with the actual values we have and we get a plot like this. Thanks for watching this video on linear regression. I have a machine learning tutorials playlist where I have more than 40 tutorials just like this one. You can reach that playlist from the cards of this video or from the link in the description. Also I'm sharing new data science videos every week on my channel. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Have a great day.